Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to dive into part three of my arsenal building series, the surfaces that we have on our bowling balls. When you're building your arsenal, if you saw on part one and part two, we covered the different ball shapes from the asymmetricals to the symmetricals that are in the three lines from Storm. So today we're gonna to look at what do I do with that for the surface of the ball to change the shape on the lane on the conditions that we're bowling on. So today we're back at Pitch Aces Veterans. We're bowling on their house shot, which is 42 feet featuring ice oil. Bring these five balls out that I think will have distinct shapes for you out on this house shot so we can show you what happens when I do change the surface from a thousand grit Avalon to two thousand grit Avalon and just how the, as I throw the balls down the lane as a what we call lane shine how the, that changes the, the shape of the ball as well as you're bowling in the lanes transition. So the balls that we're going to feature in today's video are going to be the new releases that we've had in the past year. Right now I have the Storm DNA, the Storm Infinite Physics which is my favorite and most versatile ball I have in the bag right now when it comes to bowling tournaments or league. Uh, we have the IQ Tour Ruby which just came out within the last month. I have the TN, the Rotor Grip TNT which came out a couple months ago and we also I'm going to feature also the Storm Night Road which is in the high road family but has a stronger pearl cover. Now I have used these for a while so, the, so I do not have out of box surfaces on these because I have thrown them down the lane for a while now. What we're going to start off with with the DNA is 2000 by Avalon by hand. I have also 2000 by hand on the Infinite Physics and 2000 by hand on the TNT. The DNA and the TNT have solid covers and the Infinite Physics has the REX pearl cover stock which is a little bit stronger. Get those as close to out of box kind of finished by doing it by hand. All right, so I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna start with the DNA, and then as I throw some shots, and it, it maybe the way the lanes change or the ball service changes, where it might just scratch it up with a thousand or two thousand, but I'm gonna give you my feedback on what I think I should do with that ball, that way I can get the most use out of it for how strong it is. So you see with my DNA video, when I compare it to the reality and the proton physics, uh, this is a very strong ball, and it was rolling really early. So I am gonna move a little more left today than I normally would if I was playing to the right on a fresh house shot and we're just gonna roll some shots and see what happens. A little around that one. I'm gonna throw another one, I've been sitting for a little bit, talking. Uh, but as you see, that ball is really strong, really wants to be early because of how strong the core is. The cover's not, maybe not as strong as what's on the gem, but it's a little bit weaker than that, but still, overall, this is a very strong ball for me with my low rev rate. The way I throw, it's kind of firm in the front of the lane, so it's gonna skid a little bit farther. I'm gonna throw a little bit softer this time and see if I can get a better shape for you. As you see, after two shots, even with the 2000, I'm, the ball's just not getting down the lane far enough and making a, making a good transition off the dry into the pocket. It really wants to be slow and slow down, which, so that's three of the turns I'm gonna use in this video. That right there, reaction to the, towards the pocket is really slow. I like a little more quicker response off the dry than what this one's doing. And we, what I really don't want to see is the ball, I don't want to see the ball kick really hard left and really quick. So we're going to use smooth, kind of, we're going to use smooth, we're going to slow and quick, the way the balls are transitioning off the dry today. With the DNA, you can see this, this ball is not ideal for the conditions I'm bowling on right now. It's going to be more, more for higher volume, like maybe if I'm bowling PBA stuff, it's going to be Mike Albee, 39 feet with like higher volume, 31 mils of oil. Where here in your typical house shot, it's more like 19 to 24. Okay, so as you see, even after three shots, now the ball's getting a little more lane shine with that 2000. Uh, it wants to make a little more better shape off the drive. It's still really too strong. So this ball is not a ball I would hit with a thousand to make it earlier. A question you might have is, what grit do I use? Well, when it's a strong asymmetrical ball like that with a stronger kind of solid cover, Unless I'm bowling on a lot of volume, I'm not going to use a thousand. I'm going to use two thousand because I want the ball to get down the lane and come off the dry the right way. I might use a thousand if I'm using it on a short pattern, maybe 36 feet higher mills, 30, 31 mills like we used in the PBA tour uh, this summer when I bowled a PBA 50 tour. But other than that, I will not go any any lower than that with grit. When you get into like 500 and a thousand, those balls are really going to start picking up closer to you instead of farther down the lane. The, the higher grits, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. They're going to want to make better, a better shape off the dry than the 500 and 1,000 grits. All right, I'm going to switch balls now. I'm going to switch to the Infinite Physics and see how that's different with the 2,000 by Avalon by hand than the DNA. Now, this ball features a stronger pearl cover, um, which came at 4K out of the box instead of that 4K fast. But like I said, this, this ball, the Physics line, is very versatile for me. I've used it on multiple patterns, so we're just going to see how it rolls here on the, the house shot. I'm really going to stay in the same spot as I did the DNA and see if it could shape a little bit different. Thank you. 
And you can see that one's a lot longer than the DNA, even though it's a strong ASIM. It's not as strong as the DNA core-wise, but it still wants to be an early control, not, not a control type piece, but more, can be more continuous off the dry than the DNA, which is a lot slower, okay? All right, I'm gonna throw that one more time, making a better shot. I think, I, I think with the house shot here, I'm gonna have to move a couple right and go a little straighter, make, give it a better shape off the dry. A little too far left right now, throwing it a little bit too far right. There we go, like that. Crazy what we're bowling on, house shots are crazy. But as you see, I threw, it was a little bit straighter with that one, got it down into the dry, and it was, it was just not as slow as the DNA, but it was slow off the dry. So that's, that ball's a little bit too strong what I'm bowling on right now as well. Now, as you can see, even though I hit it with, with 2,000, see if we can see that, and it's a little bit matted where the, ball, where the ball doesn't touch the lane, but in the track area, you can see there's not very much oil. It's starting to shine up a little bit, and that changes the way the ball shapes down the lane when it comes off the dry. It was a little matted, so basically like tires. It has a little more tread on the tires when you first scratch it up, but as you roll it and more oil gets on the cover, the tread kind of minimizes. So the ball is not going to be as early or as sharp down the lane as you throw more shots. I'm going to throw this one more time. Maybe we can get like a really good reaction because it's not working. But we're just here to show you different shapes and how the balls roll. Not really worry about the house shot today. Okay, and you see that one I got on the lane a little bit earlier. It got through the fronts, started picking up in the mid lane, and it was still what we call, the ball kind of wiggled down lane. It, we want a nice smooth transition from oil to the dry down the lane, and right now I don't have that with either of these bowling balls. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to the TNT. This is a stronger symmetrical in the line, but the cover is a solid, but it's not as strong as maybe what's on the, the phase two. Uh, for me, it's a little, I get a lot of under over with this one. And the reason that there is is because the, the shape of this ball is really slow for me and I like them to be a little bit quicker like the Infinite Physics than this slow, that slow type of reaction that's on the TNT. But we're gonna, we're gonna throw it and see what it does. I like that one, that was pretty good. So by hitting it with the fresh 2000 and playing a little bit straighter, a little bit more to the right in the dry, you can see the ball was nice and smooth, really smooth off the dry. It didn't want to change direction really fast. It read it nice and like an arcing type motion. And that's what we're looking for on stronger, stronger symmetricals with the solid covers. We want them nice and smooth. The phase two is going to give me a little more continuous because it's going to weigh the core design. It wants to jump off the dry a little bit quicker than that. But that's the best reaction I've had with it in a while. I'm going to throw it one more time. Now it was different, I went a little slower, it was a little softer with it, and you can see it picked up early and came off the dry a little bit harder than the last one. The last one was nice and smooth and round. So as you can see with that ball, the way that it might, could be the drilling, could be the cover core combination for me, it's very, have an under over type of reaction. So it does one thing one time and does something else a different time. I'm gonna move over and throw the IQ Tour Ruby. Now this one's closest to out of box. I haven't really scratched it up much since I did my video because I wanted that to be shiny compared to the Revenant, but we're gonna see on this house shot what it does. All right, same thing. So this should be longer and quicker uh, than the TNT, but with this R2S cover, should be, which is a weaker pearl compared to what's on the Infinite Physics, uh, it should be smooth, but we'll see. Eh, I did throw it a little right, but you can see it clean through the front, off the dry is very slow, like a slower, just like the TNT on that shot. And it was nice and smooth off the dry with the, the polish that's on it. So I'm gonna move a little bit left though one more time, see if I can make it, the ball's designed to want to be a little bit sharper, but I think with this R2S cover, which is weaker, and the reactive gloss that's on it, compared to the old polish, the balls are a lot smoother now when they're, when they're pearls and polished than the sharp motion that we used to have. All right, let's let me, let me not throw it so far to the right, throw a little bit better shot. Okay, now you see a difference. The last one I threw a little bit to the right, it was clean through the front, nice and smooth off the dry, red the way we wanted to. That one was a little straighter, a little firmer, and as it got down to the dry, it was a little confused because of the polish. It didn't slow, what we call slow down enough and read the dry the right way to get up to the pocket. So that ball right now, what I'm throwing, what I'm rolling on, this house shot actually, that cover's not the right, doesn't have the right grid on it in order for it to read the dry the right way. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the last ball before I change any surfaces. We're gonna go over to the night road. Okay, so the night road's in the high road family, so it's the core is designed to go down the lane very far, come off the drive very sharp. 
stronger cover, REX cover that's like the inf on the Infinite, it should be a little bit earlier than maybe the regular High Road, which is a hybrid cover, or the High Road Pearl, which has R2S. As you can see, the lanes are, there's a lot of wiggle down lane. I threw that one pretty good, got it out to the dry like I did with the IQ. And you can see it just, it kind of wiggled down lane, it didn't come off the dry the right way. So I'm gonna throw one more shot, go maybe a little straighter and see if maybe I can get that, the reaction not to wiggle like. And ideal, that was a really good shot. It just didn't, it's called, the way that one reacted is called, it didn't see it. So what does that mean? There was a lot of oil in the front, it skidded too far. And when it got to the dry, it really just didn't read the dry right. So it went extra three or four feet and basically hit the three pin solid. You don't want that with, it, with your ball reaction. All right, so as you see from all five of these ball reactions, they're not ideal for the, the house that I'm bowling on today. What I do to fix these reactions of these five bowling balls in order for me to have success out on the lanes, get my handy dandy 1,000 or 2,000 and decide where I want the ball to hook. Do I want to use 1,000 and have the ball hook earlier? Or do I want to use 2,000, which probably not because of how long these balls are going, some of them, like the Night Road and the IQ. I want them to pick up a little bit earlier, so it might be 1,000. But the only thing is with my rev rate and how hard I throw it, how firm I am in the front, 1,000 might be too much on this IQ, but might be just right on the Night Road. Or vice versa, 2,000 like you saw on the TNT is not enough, but 1,000 might work right once I get a little bit of lane shine in it. With the Infinite Physics, this ball is very versatile to me. I've used it 1,000 or 2,000, as you can see. But for today, when I'm th th on this house that I'm throwing on, I'm probably gonna hit it with 1,000. Now, this DNA, you see how early it is. I'm probably not gonna hit it with either. I might just, throw, I'm just probably gonna throw it a few more times to let it shine up and see if the shape comes to it, you know, gets better on the ball, rather than scratching it up and making it too early, which it already is or are too late and confused as it gets through the oil and hits the dry. Okay, so like I said, I didn't change, I didn't mess with the DNA surface, I kept it the same. We're gonna move a little more left. And I just want this ball to shine up some more. So we're just gonna keep it, just keep it the same surface as it was with the 2000. So this ball, as you can see, how strong this ball is, it's not made, for me, in my game, it's not made for house shots. I'm gonna use this more on shorter patterns when I bowl a PBA 50 tour on the Del Barra 36 foot or if I bowl on Cheetah, that way they're higher volume patterns, more oil in the front, that way the ball will get down the lane a little bit more and have a better response off the dry than I'm having right now. All right, one more time with the DNA. Big, strong ball that we have. Yeah, nope. So like I say, not a house shot ball for me, more, more for pattern. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Infinite Physics. So when I started it was 2,000 by hand, now I hit it with 1,000 by hand. That way it'll start rolling, actually it'll cut through the oil better and come off the dry. Should be a little bit smoother than it was. It was a little confused with the 2,000. Love this ball. All right, I'm gonna move a little bit right. Hey, see, now it did, since I hit it with 1,000, it cut through the oil better. It wanted to pick up a little bit earlier and it was a little bit smoother off the drive, but we'll make one more, we'll make a better shot. Going a little fast, trying too hard. Because there's a pearl, it's still gonna be clean in the front, but just wanted to come off the dry the right way. There we go. Same thing, a little bit confused. Love house shots. But that's what we're doing, out here testing, showing you know, what the different surfaces will do with different balls. Right now with the amount of volume I have, these. The two ASIMs are really just really too strong, too early. So now I'm gonna switch over to the TNT, which I, since with the 2000, it was a little, one shot looked good, the other one looked a little early. I hit it with a thousand to maybe smooth it out a little bit, make it a little earlier and a little bit smoother, but not that over under where one it went a little longer, and rolled right, and then the other one was kind of earlier and checked up on me. This is another ball I don't use on, I'm not gonna use on house shots. I'm gonna use it mainly for patterns, so, but we'll see today how this rolls. Now I hit it with a thousand. That was a little bit better. Picked up earlier in the oil. Was just as smooth as when I hit it originally with the 2000. But remember, after I threw that second shot, it reacted a little bit different. So I'm gonna see if it does the same thing or if it's actually a similar reaction every time, then I'll know for sure if a thousand on this ball is the right surface. All right, so one more shot with the TNT. I'm making pretty good shots today, but not all really good ones, but that's okay. We're just worried about ball reaction and seeing how they react off, you know, cut through the oil and they react off the dry. That's a really good one. 
Okay, so for me, the TNT, when I'm bowling on house shot, thousands is gonna be it. 2,000 is too weak for that type of cover that's on the ball for me, the way I throw it, but 1,000 was perfect, that was nice. But last time we threw it twice, and with two different reactions. This time we had two similar reactions with 1,000. I'm gonna throw it one more time. Really like that one. <laughs> and there it was. I had threw it better, I got my elbow in, underneath it, rolled it, it just skidded through the front and just really didn't read the dry right. So again, that's gonna be another ball I'm gonna use more to, on patterns than, than the high volume house shots that we have around town. All right, now I'm gonna move over to the IQ Ruby, which like I said, before we first threw it, it was similar out of box, had the reactive gloss on it, really didn't hit it much uh, to get the reactive gloss off, but I just took it off with 2000, a brand new 2000 one. So we're gonna see if I change the reaction with it or not. It did become rounder, okay? Last time it skidded, wanted to come off the dry really smooth. That one was cut through the oil a little bit more, but it was really forward, which as the, as the ball shines up a little bit, it'll get more to what it's designed to do, like an IQ does, get down the lane because of differential and come off the dry a little bit quicker. I'm gonna throw it again, move a couple boards right though. Okay, R2S is the weakest pearl we have in the line, so yes, this ball is gonna get down the lane for me very quick. Moved a couple right, got in the dry. Now it was very responsive off the dry. Where's, that's more what I like. The differential's lower, it's gonna get down the lane, it's gonna come off the dry quicker. Now let's see, one more shot. I'm gonna see if I can play in between there and see if I get a better reaction. That was nice though, I like that. Okay, so I moved a little left, threw it more right down lane. And he's still, again, because of the way the house shot is, it was early, I shouldn't say, cut through the oil like I wanted to, came off the dry the right way, I could really see a predictable motion, but then again, it, because the R2S Pearl that's weaker, it kind of wiggled down lane. So that's, that's the right service on it now, for my eyes to see, because I really like the way it's coming off the dry and how it's doing it. So I'm gonna leave that ball at 2,000 until I get more games on it, and then maybe down the road I might hit it with a little bit more surface, but for now, 2,000 is perfect. All right, so the last ball of the day is gonna be the night road, then we'll wrap this up. Uh, I did hit this one with 1,000. Right, it has the REX cover on it, just like the Infinite. That one was a thousand. It rolled really good. This is a weaker, a weaker core than the than what's in the Infinite. So this ball should be a little more responsive off the dry than it was last time, where it was really clean and really kind of confused down lane when it hit the dry. All right. So you saw that with the thousand on, it was earlier and a lot slower than last time. Last time it went down lane really quick and kind of come off the dry really sharp. So I'm gonna move a little bit right like I did with the IQ, though a little straighter and see if it makes a better shape for you guys. Having it at 1,000 is where I'm probably gonna have it at for most when I'm bowling on patterns and stuff like that, because even though the cover's stronger, I, the core's weaker, so I want the ball to pick up earlier. Like that. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for today for the part three of the Arsenal build, Building Series changing and adjusting the surfaces on your bowling ball to help build your arsenal for whatever type of environment you're bowling in. Remember, do that thing, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on that bell for notifications so you know when my content hits the internet. And stay tuned for my next ball review will be on the Roto Grip Duo. Have a great day.